Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today we're gonna to do a quick unboxing of the Aster and Kern AN Norma SR25. Going by the name AN Norma, I'm guessing Norma stands for normal everyday usage. The main sounding point for the SR25 is actually their price, the weight, and just the battery life overall. The previous generation, they had the AK70, the Mark II, the SR15. In 2020, they released it, the SR25. My first start with Aster and Kern was actually the AK100, and that was kind of like a terrible DAC for the price. So I didn't really have a good impression for Aster and Kern products. Aesthetic wise, they always have this really pleasing look to it. Like if you even look at the box and the packaging we have right here, it's just so unique and different. And then we have the product itself, and <laughs> It's almost kind of one of the reasons that I got the SR25 was the uh, tilted screen. That may sound weird, but it's just something unique, right? So the price point for the SR25 is at $700 right now for the base model, which is actually comparable to the Sony NWZX series. And 178 grams, the SR25 is actually quite thick compared to the Sony's and the previous generation SR15 and it's about 20 to 30 grams heavier. As for playback time, it's quite competitive to the Sony's and it's definitely a lot better than the SR15 or the previous generation entry point AK products. For the design, it is a little bit bigger than the SR15 and it has a bigger screen Personally, I do like asymmetrical things if it's done right, but some people just hate it. Because of the height, the SR25 to the screen actually stands out a little bit more than the SR15. Over the years, Aston and Kern really had gone to the more premium route. So they actually really did hit a sweet spot in the market. There's not really a lot of competitors in the premium decks. And they're definitely the only brand that spends that much effort in making the product look premium. Similar to Razer products, they always have these kind of like small details that you wouldn't notice, but in the same time, some people actually really appreciate it. So for example, this uh, USB, type -C, USB type C cable, they have their own logo on it and it just feels so much more quality than the uh, any stock cable you get from other Samsung phones or things like that. As for this part, I think it's a little bit extra and necessary, just a little bit over the top. So this is actually a micro SD protector where you can just put it in your DAC if you don't have a micro SD. But I think most of us will use a micro SD, and the DAC itself already comes with this, so it's just an extra protective accessories you know but just kind of extra because smartphones and wireless earbuds and headphones had gone so much better in the past couple years that DAX and mp3s are just quite a bit of a niche market like at this price point a couple options i can think of be the feel the ibasso the sony and this is definitely the best unboxing experience that you can get out for these other brands. So what kind of surprised me and I w wasn't able to find it on any of the websites was that this actually comes with the screen protector and it comes with three of them. So not knowing that I actually bought an extra screen protector, but oh well, it was cheap anyway. So what actually impressed me the most besides the tilted screen was actually the back. Just look at the reflection and the gloss and tell me that's not a work of art. <laughs> and then I also bought a third party case, the cheapest one I can find. So why put a case on it if the back is so nice, right? And for me, it's kind of like a Burberry trench coat. Even though you don't really see the interior, they still spend a lot of time and effort in designing the interior stitching. As for the SR25, I do recommend getting a leather case because the handling is just so much better with the case. 
You can see the deck itself, the design and everything is just spectacular. It looks nice. Because the edges are so sharp around the S25, I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable thing to hold. There are currently three to four different cases for the SR25. The design are fairly similar. The one I found is just the cheapest one I can find. And as you can see again, the edges just looks gorgeous. But it does feel a little bit sharp around the hand. Like the volume button and all the keys like I really can't say enough good things about the design of this back, so that's one of the big selling points of the AK products, like the material, the quality, the design. As for how it sounds, I would describe it as a little bit on the uh, darker side. It also has that AK sound signature that most of the other AK product has besides the uh, Kong Cube. So one thing I'll probably like to see in the future generation will probably be the thickness. As you can see, I have to slide in the back into the leather case. It's just a little bit thick. It's about the size of uh, just two phones. So two iPhones and, uh, and because it's an entry product, it uses a CS4319 chip from Cirrus Logic. So same as some of the other USB that you can find. So what do I actually think of the product? This is definitely not the best band for the buck DAC that you can find. So at this price, you'll probably be better off in terms of sound quality wise with VO, iBasso and just other DACs in general. It's fairly comparable to the Sony. But if you're looking for something that's fairly lightweight and just amazing battery life and build quality, then you can't really go wrong with the SR25. What you are sacrificing is definitely the lack of power to drive more demanding earbuds and headphones. So just keep that in mind. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks.